Hello Collective, um, this is going to be a Divine Masculine channeled message. I kept feeling like there was something that needed to be said. I could feel the energy and bear with me just a moment because it's really intense. Hey there. Um, I'm feeling everything opening up. I'm feeling a lot of feelings that I've never felt. And it's really intense. At first it had me kind of scared. <laughs> I felt kind of like the Grinch who stole Christmas. His heart changed three sizes. <laughs> and it was kind of painful. What was kind of painful is that I treated you so badly, and you were the only one in my life who loved me at the ability that you did. You loved me unconditionally. Even when I was at my worst, at my darkest of dark, and I feel like a shit, I feel horrible that I didn't see it, that I couldn't see it, that I couldn't see that. You were my peace. You were my tranquility. In all this chaos. And I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. That I didn't treat you better. I don't deserve a second chance. I don't deserve a third chance. I feel like you gave me so many chances to come clean, to do right, and to reciprocate the love that you gave. And I didn't do it. At the time, I couldn't do it. I don't know how. I didn't know how. All I seen was failed relationships my whole life. I saw so much fighting, so much manipulation that it just became second nature. It became what I knew. And even after I knew it was the wrong way to go, I still kept holding on to it because that's what got me through. I felt like use people before they use you. That's just the way of life, right? The way that you go about things, you like, you get them before you get God. <laughs> That's a really lame way of thinking. But that's my reality. That's how I thought about it. Because everyone in my life has always done me wrong. So I kind of learned how to do the same thing. Matter of fact, I knew how to do it first and usually not get caught. 
A lot of times it got me in the hot water. A lot of times I was in situations that you wouldn't believe what I had to do to get out of them. That's how I survived. Until you, you showed me a different way. You loved me a different way. You showed me that there's still a love that's pure. And even though I feel like I don't deserve it now, I feel like one day I can live up to your standard. One day I can make things right and move forward with you. I just wish I could go back, back to the beginning. You said I love bombed you. You said that I acted the way I should have acted all along. And the funny thing is, that's when I felt the most real. That's when I felt the most at home. <laughs> that's when I felt the most love. I think maybe I showed you the side that I had buried deep down inside. I feel like you brought that up. But after my emotions started coming forward, I had to push it down. I had to hide it again. I had to be this person that protects themselves at all costs. I couldn't possibly be that person that you met at first. Otherwise, I would totally get lost. And I felt like you would finish me off. I felt like you would take over my body and manipulate me in ways that could totally devour me. But I was wrong because no matter what I did to you, you still showed me kindness. You love me in a way that I don't think anybody ever has or ever will. And I'm so sorry. I am so sorry for everything that I put you through. Every call that I miss. Every text that I didn't reply to, every time I ignored you, every time I didn't make you a priority, every time I made you cry, I'm sorry. And I really feel so deeply how wrong I was. And I want to make amends. I want to change. And I think that first step I need to take is by accepting who I am. 
and accepting that although I'm not perfect, I'm not like everyone else. I don't have to be. I don't have to be like my family or parents or everyone else in my life that I've seen the relationships fail. I don't have to be that man who manipulates everybody and just takes what they want and don't give anything back. I don't have to be that man who is so damn selfish and so worried about looking good to the outside. I'm finding that it doesn't matter what you have. You can have all the money in the world. If you don't have someone who truly loves you, you have nothing. You taught me so many lessons. You taught me so much about myself. And I'm really grateful. And I just want you to know, I'm going to find my way back. I'm going to find my way back to that man in the beginning that you fell in love with. I know he's here. And I know with you in my life, I can have everything. And it doesn't have anything to do with money. Although money would be nice. <laughs> Just kidding. I love you, babe. And I miss you so very much. I will, I will make amends. I will get back to you.